Welcome back to my Let's Play for Tales of Legend, and I suppose it's time to return to town. So we can find the way back there. Uh, probably aren't too far out. The shell! It's glowing! Senno? Senno, is that you? Senno, you're alive! Oh, thank goodness you're alive! I'm here, Senno. I'm okay. Don't worry. Hello? Can you hear me? Is that from the next room? Um, is someone there? I knew it. You must be a new one. Where did you come from? You're one of the Baroness, too, aren't you? <laughs> Just out of reach, huh? Yeah, saving Shirley's definitely just out of our reach right now. But. Jeez. Nine o'clock after going around the mountain. Well, which way? This way, I mean? Mm, no, that can't help. That leads into nothing. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to probably get this sword back. Jeez. Oh, oh, I'm getting too much trouble. Sorry. Just trying to start the upload process for Xenosaga. Okay, now to take care of these bears. Ow! I'm gonna so wish I had something that could heal you right now. Oh, again. Ugh. I think that last one was my pride breaking. Ugh. Oh, come on. Fall. I gotta pay it back for that hit for over 100 points of damage. Seriously. I hate that. Oh good, it's on the corner and poisoned. Beat it. Beat it. Go down. I have my moments. That really wasn't a good moment. It was pretty sad. Um. I think I got some healing items still. I was say, it's not letting me pull the menu. Because that was embarrassing. Um. I can't go this way. I get out around these mountains. Or I have to go that way and you have to go Again? further. I tried. Okay. Yeah, don't work too well, does it? Oh. I'm surprised they're backing off, to be honest. That surprises me. Why is that boring? Okay. that time at least. Well that was still pretty bad. I wish I was stronger. <sighs> much, much stronger. Yeah, I can see a portal there. How oh, yeah, we're supposed to get out of here, darn it. Again? Yeah, again, apparently. Demon fist! Demon fist! 
Fist, I'm getting tired of it too, so I'll... Well, I didn't design this area. Seriously. I'm getting tired of seeing these guys. Oh. Gosh darn birds. If only I could poison it or something. Come on. Stay down. Seriously, my inability to ground these birds is what really makes them so annoying. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. Well, I didn't even think they pulled the victory man to see what sort of items I picked up. Well, yeah, I go that way. There's not enough room. I gotta go this way, I guess. Okay, health is restored. Moving on. Gosh darn it, Mausers. That's getting annoying. Okay. Looks like there's a bridge there at one point. But someone blew it up. Monsters. This will just take a second. Well, probably. Those are much weaker targets, after all, than what we were fighting earlier. I have my moments. A new title, huh? Was it Crusher of Bugs? <sighs> Not a title I really care about, but let's go check it out, I guess, in case this is like, something cool. Um. Okay. Minus three evasion, plus three attack. I'll take it. Let's see. Yeah, she's gotta be over this way. There she is. Well, not we're on the right path. It shouldn't take too much longer to get there. Jeez. Again? She guys just got my way. Seriously, not worth my time. You brought this on yourself. Ah, gosh. Darn you, Mouser, you have to run when it's that squeaky. Like, non stop. Well, I guess it's your job to clean it, stupid human. <sighs> Got a point. <sighs> it was bad yesterday, and I ignored it because I was recording. Is this where it is beacon? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Hmm. So this is where he lives. Is this your first time here? Hmm? Uh, yeah. I just arrived on the Legacy recently. Will you be okay on your own from here? Sure. If you run into any trouble, go see Will. You mean Will Renard? Yeah. Alright. I can't believe I found him so quickly. Sennel, take me to see that Will guy. You're still ordering me around? I don't even know if he made it back okay or not. Oh, I'm sure he did. Anyway, right, we should go probably see Will or that lady friend of his. Um, what's this? Hmm. Um, don't rest for now. This isn't the right place. Huh. Figures. <laughs> if it was that easy, um, they wouldn't even ask me to go look for it. Like, we're right next to it. We're gonna be around one of these curves somewhere. Oh, there they are. That's Will and Chloe. Looks like they're both all right. Sennel, come here. Why are we hiding? Shh, quiet. So that's 
Will Renard. It's really him. Who's that woman with him? Is that his lover? Somehow I doubt that. You never know. My mom always used to say, a man and a woman don't need a reason. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I have something to do. Bye-bye! Settle? What are you doing here? She'll be back later. Don't worry about it. A man and a woman don't need a reason. Yeah, that may be true. What? There was this girl who was thinking you might be Will's lover. <sighs> well, he was asking for it. He really should have known better. You didn't have to hit me that hard. She may not have hit you hard enough, Senel. It takes a lot of force to pound anything into your head. You're sort of an idiot. <sighs> Shut up. You're certain you encountered Vaklov? Absolutely. His soldiers called him by name. So Vaklov was behind the attack on the bandit's lair. I should have realized it when I saw all those red soldiers. Many of those soldiers are part of a special force that carries out secret operations. I'm not surprised you didn't recognize them. Well, I'm surprised you did. Vaklov Bolod, third prince of the Kruzand Empire, a militaristic country in the southern part of the mainland. Over the past few years, Kruzand has been steadily increasing its power by going to war with other nations. It seems Vaklov has been leading an independent division of troops from battlefield to battlefield across the land. Vaklov's confidants are his three executive officers, otherwise known as the Terrors. Right. Melanie the Crimson specializes in fire heiress, just as her name implies. Cashel the Phantom is famous for his deceptive illusions in battle. And Stingle the Vicious is a master of the sword. People say that he wears a mask at all times. While Melanie and Cashel are veterans, I've heard that Stingle is a relative newcomer. Perhaps he has some reason for choosing to hide his identity. Damn you, Vaklov! What are you scheming? Why did you abandon the front line and come to the Legacy? What's the matter, Chloe? You can hardly blame her. The Holy Kingdom of Ghidoria, her home country, is at war with Crescent at this very moment. How did you know I'm from Ghidoria? I never told you that. The Valens are a famous family of knights in Ghidoria. I've at least heard of them. I see. So the Valens' name is known far and wide. Reynard, we can't just sit here while Vaklov runs free on the legacy. Got a point. He has all kinds of trouble here. Especially with what he's planning. So we really have to do something about it. Plus he's got Shirley, so we got... Extra reason to beat the crap out of him. Yes, we cannot let this go, even if it means taking on an entire country's army. First, we need information. We have to discover Vaklov's whereabouts and motives. Precisely. That's why I've contacted Jay the Unseen. Oh, you mean the jerk that got into a fight as soon as we got here? Then got me thrown in jail? That Jay the Unseen? Jay? The Jay? He's famous for having more information than anyone on the Legacy. We should be receiving an answer soon. I'm going to check into it now. Would you accompany me? Of course. I'll go too. That's probably not a good idea. No, you won't. Why not? You even have to ask? How should I know? You're prone to running off on your own, like a moron. That's why. 
Do you think we can trust you to travel with us after you just ran off on your own like that? I had my reasons. And besides, I told you, we were only going to be together until we got Shirley back. Yeah, and then after charging off alone, you wound up losing her. Now, after all that, you come crying back for our help. You expect us to just say okay? I didn't come crying back for help. Then good luck working alone. Chloe and I will continue by ourselves. Don't worry. If we rescue Shirley first, we'll be sure to contact you. Let's go, Chloe. I appreciate your help. Wait! Despicable. As much as they'd like to do this alone, they need me. As dumb as I am, I'm quite strong. And they don't stand a chance as they are either. Huh. Yo, Sunny. Norma. Looks like you made it back in one piece. I was really worried about you. You were. Or not. Make up your mind. You can gripe better than that. Come on, get mad. I guess teach and see must have come down on you pretty hard, huh? Well, fear not, Senny. Norma's on your side. You're going to rescue Cheryl, right? I'll be right there along with you. You're not going to criticize me like the others did? Of course not. I trust you. You're a terrible liar. Well, I guess there's no point in keeping that up. I don't necessarily agree with what you did. But I've got my own priorities. What do you want? Cheryl's brooch. That's not a jewel, you know. You wouldn't be able to get any money for it. No, dummy, it's not about the money. I want the stone in the brooch. That stone looks like something I've been searching for forever. The Everlight. That's not what it was called, though. It was the something tear. I'll tell you what. How about you get me that stone in exchange for me helping you rescue Shirley? That's a tough choice. Oh, come on now. Don't you think her life is a lot, lot, lot more important? Well, I can't guarantee anything, but I can at least talk to her. All right, fair enough. That'll work for now. All right. So what do we do now? Did you hear anything from Teach and See? He said something about having contacted Jay the Unseen. Seriously? Wow! Is this Jay guy really that special? Special isn't the word. They say he knows more than anyone about what's going on around the legacy. But he's really cautious. Apparently like nobody's ever met him in person. We have and we wish we hadn't. Then how do you get information from him? You send him a letter in a certain way, and an answer comes back with the information you requested. What a pain. All right, let's go follow Teach. Then we can find out what those guys know. That's your plan? Well, it's better than doing nothing. Hey, no complaining. Now let's head for the Fountain Plaza. Why the plaza? The rumors say that's the place where Jay's answers come. Huh. That's an odd choice to give answers. Though I suppose being in public, there's lots of people running around that people may not listen in on your conversations as much because they're busy doing their own thing. Hmm. Well, at least that's advice we got in Harry Potter. I think instead of being at that one place, you really should have went to, you know, with three broomsticks instead of going to the hog's head or whatever. Well, at least it's close by, I suppose. Hmm. Uh oh. We meet again. The boy. 
boys here. We found him at last. Let's hurry up and kick his ass. We waited so long for this day to come. Let's take it slow and have some fun. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. between you and these people you could say that it's a long story well maybe not but I still don't want to talk about it hmm I don't know what happened but you should forgive him such an offense cannot be so easily forgiven right Isabella yes Curtis come on have a heart Think about Senny's situation. He needs to go and save his beloved sister. They don't care about something like that. What? You're doing this for love? Tell us your story, brother. Wait, you do care? <laughs> Jeez. She sounds evil. I see. We understand completely. We'll do whatever we can to help. Won't we, Isabella? Yes, Curtis. You just say the word, brother. Why is he calling me brother? If you say sing, we shall sing as we have never sung before. Uh, thanks, but I'll pass. So now we're looking for Teach. You know, Will. Did he come this way? Did he come this way, Isabella? I saw him with Miss Valens. They were headed for Port on Rage. That's an interesting choice of name, isn't it? Port on Rage, huh? All right, Senny, we've got our next destination. To get there, head toward four o'clock once you exit the city. Brother, when you bring back your sister, I will grant you a special present. I probably don't know what that present is. I really don't. Let that rouse you to success. Like, what kind of present? Probably a song. A place as an official member of the Bantam Bouncers! That's even worse. <laughs> Who the hell would want that? You'd be surprised. But it's definitely not us. My name is Fenimore. My true name is Celeste. Celeste. That means blessing. Yes, though in my current situation, I'm not really in much of a blessing mood. What's your name? Shirley. My true name is Fenness. Shirley Fenness. One who prays. That's an amazing true name. Was it the village chief who gave it to you? Yes. They must have had great hopes for your future. Maybe. It's been a long time since I talked with someone like this. The villagers they brought with me were all killed. That's horrible. Why were they killed? You even have to ask? Because we're fairness, and they're a rareness. That's... Do you have any family, Shirley? I have an older sister, but now she's... It's okay. You don't have to talk about it. I imagine it's the same as what happened to our village. I have a twin sister myself. She was away from the village when it was attacked, so I think she was probably spared. Shirley, have you heard the rumor about the Marinus being born in one of the villages? It would be great if it's true. The Marinus would surely save us from this situation. And take care of those horrible Orere. Venomore? Venomore, why did you stop? No! No! Get away! Venomore? <gasps> Let go! You're hurting me! Well, that's a message to end on, I guess. Um, a depressing one. <sighs> but I guess a message. 
just not sure what their goal is yet. Um, I probably don't want to know. I really don't. Actually, I do. But I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be stopping here for tonight. Next time, we'll make our way over to Porton Rage and find out what Jade the Unseen has to say to us. <sighs> the jerk. I still haven't forgiven him for that whole um, scene with the bouncers. Jeez. Until next time, then. See ya.